Our story starts with an amber orb, a lifeless fly inside, insect of prehistoric times, a bunk now petrified. A bolt of light struck the orb, the resin liquidized. A sizzling splash of green gold, the lifeless fly baptized. Twas only for millennia, a drawn out dance with death, but it only takes a millisecond for a miracle's waking breath. The resurrected fly skedaddled to the nearest water pool. Fly gazed upon its newest form, a living six-legged jewel. An ambush caught the fly off guard. The spider was out for blood. With venom coursing through its fangs, fly's body they soon would fly. But alas, spider indeed had failed to pierce fly's golden sheath. Tooth against nail, so who prevails? The fly or the amber thief? <laughs> the bug was glad to be alive, though it felt a bit perplexed. Why did the spider take its wings but leave the rest unvexed? Three baby spiders hopped upon their chairs on meat and rice. The kids sat calmly and with ease around their foods and jar of spice. One baby spider outstretched its arm, a rattle in its hand. The spiderling's black eyes pondered what was the fly's next plan. <laughs> The spider babe, it giggled so at Fly's reflected jest. Was it hope or temporary peace Fly felt within its chest? The spider that Fly knew all too well emerged with bowls of stew. A bowl for every spider child placed in front of them anew. Fly looked closely at the stews with wide red eyes agog. Its wings were crumpled in each bowl. A fly appendage broth. The spider mom unveiled a sphere, a globe of greenish light. She cracked the sphere into the soups, much to the spiderling's delight. Then she brought a plate to fly of nuts and fruits divine. A kind expression filled her face and asked the fly to dine. The fly nervously began to munch next to the spider baby's thrice. The amber thief, its family, a fly, and a jar of spice. <laughs> the arachnid kids slammed down their bowls. They felt full, but also strange. Their bodies glowed in greenish light, and they all began to change. The greenish glow faded away. Fly watched in disbelief. The spider children stood reborn, all cloaked in golden sheaths. The children tested their new shells. Their spoons became their sword. One spoon bounced off their armored skin and threw the air its sword. The spoon stuck its landing within the frame of a family portrait still. Fly studied the picture and felt surprised of the contrast it instilled. Ten spider babes within the frame, yet only three sparred in their chairs. So many empty seats around suddenly made the room feel bare. The fly understood all at once Spider's actions family bound. Though she couldn't save the ones that perished, she could protect the ones still around. But at what cost, the fly still wondered. Golden wings stolen away, but the amber feet revealed once more her talents outwit dismay. Mother Spider unsheathed her gift through spider silk woven wings. She attached them to the golden fly, a gift worthy of kings. The spider gave the fly freedom from the confines of her lair. But right before the fly flew off, a familiar noise filled the air. The spiderling approached the bug as if there was something fly forgot. Its golden arm unfurled to show. The spice jar it hath brought. It shook the rattle and the spice, then handed the jar to fly. 
A warmness filled the fly's small heart, but then something caught its eye. On close inspection, the fly confirmed the rattle was homemade. The carcass of a ladybug, dead and on display. Fly felt the darkness take a hold and grip this jar of spice. The soups of truth, the fangs of lies, the rattle, common baby's cries, for every creature lives and dies, Fly stood with Jersey blood red eyes. It was time to pay the price. Twas only for a moment. Mother Spider wept with grief. No longer frail, the fly prevailed and became the Amber Thief.